I support that way of thinking, but I will never burn a church myself. If you even want to fight something like that, like something as big and um, established as, as Christianity, uh, you'd probably have to do it in a different way. You know, you probably have to uh, somehow break down their morale. You know, question the faith, get that thing going. You know, a burning a church that's just gonna put fear in them, and they're gonna just they're just gonna hold their hands even tighter. You know, I never think about religion that way. I think uh, religion is a very individual, personal thing, and nobody in here, all these people, you know, believe exactly the same way. Whatever we believe in, anyway, you know, we're individuals, and we because of that have different thoughts, different feelings, different needs. You know, and. You gotta respect that in people, you know. I would, I would never condemn somebody else for fucking their religion. If somebody wants to pray to a fucking god, go for it. It's got nothing to do with me. It's not what I would do. But I certainly wouldn't condemn them for it. Yeah. Why would I do that? We're talking belief here, and it's not a thing you can grasp and say. Okay, look here. I have proof here. What I say is right. <laughs> What happened? We we did, we did a, a recording for a, for a DVD, and uh, somehow uh, the, the authorities were in in Poland uh, accused us for for blasphemy, mm -hmm. and so we had to go to court and stuff like that. But uh, in the end, they they, they ended up with uh, putting the producer of the of the. From Metal Mind Productions, mm -hmm. so he he is now facing like five years in prison or something in Poland for putting up the show. had a joke element on the albums just so you know it was always we would always like want to retain that tongue in cheek yeah. you know I mean we have a fucking good laugh doing what we're doing as well it's just other people don't get our jokes Yeah. and they, they straight away oh, oh you're not fucking serious you're not a Satanist like what is a Satanist not allowed to laugh no of course not you know of course not you know what I mean well, so was, well, you, you got to be miserable all the time yeah, yeah? yeah that's what is that you know, I just don't get it, you know, right, so right, you're into Satan, right, you've got to keep a straight face and never, ever laugh. So you can sit a Satanist down in the middle of a dice clay uh, gig and you will never break a smile, right? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that for one second. How do you feel uh, about certain black metal bands boasting bands like Venom just uh, write make-believe lyrics about demonic killings, whereas Norwegian black metal bands actually live out the things that they uh, say in their songs? No, they don't. But burn in the church. I mean, look, there's a big difference between being a musician and being like a felon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if you want to go and commit a crime and go to jail, well, go on then. Or do you want to be a musician and tour the world and make albums? There's a fucking very, very big difference. Yes. You know, uh, so... They're not musicians. It's great, though, to have like a myth around a musical style. I'd say it's a bad thing for me, but I, for people that want to get, get into it, sort of like, so it's easier to get into something that's myth-ridden, because it's exciting. Violence today, in 90% of the cases, are just an image into black metal bands. They were makeup, they were spikes, but we have played with so many bands that were so different in the backstage than when they were on stage uh, screaming, screaming about Satan, and about all this, I mean, this is not a game. This is a very, very difficult and, and very huge topic. But in, in some way, I even think it was crucial for the development of black metal that happened, you know, really, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, it wouldn't have the notoriety, you know, if it wouldn't be for the church burnings and the burgers, you know, it wouldn't have. Although, you know, what is there satanic about, uh, you know, a friend murdering his friend for whatever reasons they were? There weren't any satanic reasons why he did it. All the reasons are the same reasons why it happens every day at any place in 
this world, you know, with any person that considers themselves to be Buddhist or Christian or Hindu or Muslim or whatever. Violence in black metal is like in any skin or when you have lots of people gathered together. Some use it, some doesn't. I think that it is that simple. Black me metal is a kind of uh, underground society. We have other rules and all the people that still uh, try to belong to um, the normal human rules uh, are breaking something. They're just taking black metal image, black metal history uh, a part of themselves and this is really wrong because it has to, to go forward every time. Last year I was the only remaining member being able to walk as a free man in the streets of Norway. You know, fighting looks cool in the movies, you got the sound effects, it's a cool fucking sound when you hit the fucking face. You know, in a bar fight, it's like it's like hitting a, a piece of meat. Everybody looks like idiots when they fight, nobody looks cool. A band like Arca Infestus in our home country most of the French people hate us because when they see us after the show or in our real life, there is nothing different. They see us the way we are, the way we say we are. I'm always saying all this in prison. 